It's another scorching summer day in the United States, but temperatures are getting back to normal in the United Kingdom. President Joe Biden announced executive actions aimed at climate change. And the BA. 5 subvariant of COVID-19 is making itself known? Hey! Laura Davis here. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for Wednesday's news. The short list is a snappy USA Today news roundup. Subscribe to the newsletter here or text messages here. President Joe Biden announced steps Wednesday to address climate change after his legislative agenda faced a setback in Congress. Biden said additional steps will come soon, though lawmakers are unlikely to move on the issue. Keep reading for more plans for climate change. The short list is free, but several stories we link to are subscriber only. Consider supporting our journalism and become a USA Today digital subscriber today. The Uvalde, Texas, school's superintendent recommended that District Police Chief Pete Arredondo, who was placed on leave last month, be fired for his role in the flawed response to the Robb Elementary School shooting, according to a school board meeting agenda made public Wednesday. Arredondo assumed the role of incident commander and failed to act quickly enough to stop the gunman inside a classroom where 19 children and two teachers were killed May 24 according to at least two assessments of the police response to the shooting. Keep reading. This is a compilation of stories from across the USA Today network. Want this news roundup in your inbox every night? Subscribe to the newsletter here or text messages here. Laura L. Davis is an audience editor at USA Today. Send her an email at laura at today or follow along with her adventures, and misadventures, on Twitter. Support quality journalism like this. Subscribe to USA Today here.